Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your Logitech keyboard is not working or responding on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to just restart your computer. So using your mouse, just right click on the start button, select shut down or sign out, and then select restart. And then hopefully at this point, the issue should have been resolved. If you're using a wireless keyboard, I recommend making sure you have fresh batteries in your keyboard. So swap out your old batteries, put in new batteries, and see if that resolves the problem. You may also want to try plugging your keyboard if you're using a wired keyboard, meaning it plugs into your computer. Try plugging into a different USB port. It's possible you might have a bad connection or a bad USB port. And then ultimately, if you're having a lot of other issues, you may want to just consider swapping out with a different keyboard. And then, you know, at least during the troubleshooting process here, make sure your keyboard is also within range of your computer. So Bluetooth doesn't have an infinite range if you're trying to use your keyboard from the other side of your room. You might want to move a little closer to your device and then see if you get a better connection. Something else we can try here as well, if you are able to use your computer mouse, would be to open up the search menu and then select settings as a pinned menu icon. And then on the left side, you want to select System. And on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath Troubleshoot. And go ahead and left click on that. Select Other Troubleshooters. And then underneath Other, you want to select the Keyboard Troubleshooter if you see one in here. Otherwise, you can select the Bluetooth Troubleshooter as well if you are using a wireless keyboard. It doesn't hurt to attempt to run this utility. You want to select yes to offer consent to run the Bluetooth utility here. Again, it should hopefully provide a solution here that you just want to follow along with. Again, just follow along with the process that it suggests. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So again, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.